Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again on this channel. Today we're back with another heartfelt tribute video and honoring some of the well-known actors who sadly passed away. We'll also take a moment to remember other stars we've recently lost. These legends made incredible contribution to their craft and will be deeply missed. Our thoughts and condolences go out. To theirs, families and friends rest in peace. Before we start, please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Gavin Creel, born on April 18, 1976, was a talented American actor and singer, known for his work on Broadway and in theater. He first gained widespread recognition for his role as Jimmy in the Broadway musical Thoroughly Modern Millie, 2002, which earned him his first Tony Award nomination. His charisma and powerful voice made him a standout performer in the theater world. Throughout his career, Creel appeared in numerous hit productions, including Hair, 2009, The Book of Mormon, 2012, and Hello, Dolly, 2017, for which he won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Musical. He was also a passionate advocate for arts education and LGBTQ rights, using his platform to support meaningful causes. Gavin Creel passed away from the disease under hospice care at his home in Manhattan on September 30th, 2024, at the age of 48, leaving behind a rich legacy of memorable performances and dedication to the theater community. His death deeply saddened the Broadway world, but his impact on stage continues to inspire fellow actors and fans. John Amos was a renowned American actor best known for his roles in iconic television shows and films. He rose to fame playing James Evans Sr., the strong-willed father in the popular sitcom Good Times. Amos became a household name for his portrayal of the hardworking, family-oriented character, which earned him widespread recognition. Amos also appeared in The Mary Tyler Moore Show and gained critical acclaim for his role as Kunta Kinta in the groundbreaking miniseries Roots, 1977, which became a cultural phenomenon. His film career included notable roles in Coming to America, 1988, Die Hard, 2 Twos, 1990, and Dr. Dolittle, 3 Souse, 2006. John Amos passed away of congestive heart failure at a hospital in Inglewood, California, on August 21, 2024, at the age of 84, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances. His contributions to television and film made him a beloved figure in American entertainment, and he is remembered for his versatility and powerful screen presence. Pete Rose, born on April 14, 1941, was a legendary American professional baseball player, widely regarded as one of the greatest hitters in Major League Baseball MLB history. Rose spent 24 seasons in the MLB, primarily with the Cincinnati Reds, and also played for the Philadelphia Phillies and Montreal Expos. Known for his intense playing style and versatility, Rose earned the nickname Charlie Hustle and became the all-time MLB leader in hits with 4,256, a record that still stands today. Rose's career included three World Series titles, 17 All-Star appearances, and numerous accolades, including the 1973 National League MVP. However, his legacy was marred by a gambling scandal, leading to his lifetime ban from baseball in 1989 for betting on games while managing the Reds. Despite this controversy, Rose's contributions to the game are undeniable. Pete Rose passed away at his home in Las Vegas, Nevada on September 30, 2024, at the age of 83 from hypertensive and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, leaving behind a complex but enduring legacy as one of baseball's greatest figures. Ken Page was an accomplished American actor and singer, best known for his distinctive voice and memorable roles in theater, film, and television. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Old Deuteronomy in the original Broadway production of Cats, 1982, and his role as the villainous Oogie Boogie in Tim Burton's beloved animated film, The Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993. 
His deep, resonant voice made him a standout performer in both stage and voice acting. Throughout his career, Page appeared in numerous Broadway productions, including Ain't Misbehavin', for which he won a Drama Desk Award. He was also a frequent performer in concerts and cabarets, known for his charismatic stage presence and powerful vocals. Ken Page passed away in his sleep of old age on September 30th, 2024, at the age of 70, at his home in St. Louis. His death marked the loss of a versatile talent whose contributions to theater and film, particularly his iconic voice work, have left a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Drake Hogestin was a beloved American actor, best known for his role as John Black on the popular soap opera, Days of Our Lives. Born in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Hogestin initially pursued a career in baseball, having been drafted by the New York Yankees in 1976. However, a career-ending injury led him to transition to acting, where he found immense success. Augustine's breakthrough came in 1986 when he joined Days of Our Lives. His portrayal of the mysterious and romantic John Black quickly made him a fan favorite. The character's complex relationships, particularly with Marlena Evans, played by Deidre Hall, made them one of the most iconic couples in daytime television. Augustine's career spanned over three decades, earning him multiple award nominations and a dedicated fan base. Despite scaling back his appearances in later years, he remained a beloved figure in soap operas. Drake Hogestin passed away from pancreatic cancer in Los Angeles on September 28, 2024, one day before his 71st birthday, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of daytime television. Cat Glover, born on July 23, 1968, was an American professional choreographer, dancer, and singer best known for her dynamic collaborations with the legendary musician Prince during the 1980s. Glover's electrifying dance moves and commanding stage presence made her a standout performer, especially during Prince's Sign of the Times tour, where she served as both a backup dancer and singer. Her unique style and high-energy performances became a defining feature of Prince's live shows. In addition to her work with Prince, Glover also appeared in his concert film, Sign o' the Times, 1987, and worked with other notable artists in the music industry, contributing her dance expertise to various music videos and stage performances. Her creative influence in the world of choreography left a lasting impression on fans and performers alike. Cat Glover passed away on September 24, 2024, at the age of 62, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most talented and iconic choreographers of her time. Her vibrant artistry and contributions to dance and music are fondly remembered. Freddie Salem was an influential American guitarist best known for his work with the Southern rock band The Outlaws. Salem joined the band in 1977, bringing a heavier, more rock-oriented sound to their signature blend of country and rock. His skillful guitar playing was a key feature in albums such as Playin' to Win, 1978, In the Eye of the Storm, 1979, and Ghost Riders, 1980, with the latter featuring the hit song Ghost Riders in the Sky. Salem's powerful riffs and unique style contributed to the band's success throughout the late 1970s and early 1980s, making the Outlaws a standout act in the Southern rock genre. After leaving the band, he pursued solo projects and collaborations with other artists. Freddie Salem passed away at the age of 70, leaving behind a legacy as a vital contributor to the Southern rock movement. His musicianship and influence on the genre continue to inspire generations of rock guitarists. Kenneth Cope, born on April 14, 1931, was a beloved English actor known for his roles in British television during the 1960s and 1970s. He first gained widespread recognition for his role as Marty Hopkirk 
a ghostly private detective in the cult classic series Randall and Hopkirk, deceased. Cope's portrayal of the affable and mischievous Marty became iconic, and the show remains popular among fans of British television. Cope was also known for his comedic talent, which he showcased in the long-running soap opera Coronation Street, is where he played the charming rogue Jed Stone. His career spanned decades, with appearances in shows like Zed Cars and Carry On Films, showcasing his versatility as both a serious and comedic actor. Kenneth Cope passed away in September 2024 at the age of 93. His death marked the loss of a cherished figure in British television whose memorable performances left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Frankie Beverly was an iconic American singer, songwriter, and musician, best known as the lead vocalist of the soul and funk band Maze, which he founded in 1970. Known for his smooth vocals and heartfelt delivery, Beverly led Mays to success with a string of hits, including classics like Joy and Pain, Before I Let Go, and Southern Girl. His music resonated deeply with fans, blending soulful melodies with poignant lyrics about love, life, and resilience. Beverly's stage presence and his band's unique fusion of R&B, soul, and funk made Mays a staple of the genre particularly in the late 1970s and 1980s. The group's live performances became legendary, and they developed a devoted fan base that spanned generations. Frankie Beverly passed away in September 2024 at the age of 77, leaving a rich legacy as one of the most influential voices in R&B. His contributions to soul music continue to inspire artists and fans alike. Ben Thapa, Born on March 2, 1982, was a talented British opera singer, best known as a member of the classical crossover group G4. Thapa, with his powerful tenor voice, gained fame when G4 rose to prominence after finishing as runners-up on The X Factor in 2004. The group's success led to several chart-topping albums, including their debut album, G4 which featured classical renditions of pop songs and operatic favorites. Thapa's vocal prowess played a crucial role in shaping the group's unique sound. After G4 disbanded in 2007, Thapa pursued a solo career in opera, performing in numerous productions across the UK. He showcased his versatility by embracing both classical and contemporary styles, earning respect in the operatic world. Ben Thapa passed away at the age of 42 due to kidney failure. His death was a profound loss to the opera and classical crossover music communities, where his talent and contributions are fondly remembered. Today, breaking news, Clint Eastwood, born on May 31, 1930, is a legendary American actor, director, and producer renowned for his iconic roles in classic films such as The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and Dirty Harry. Over a career spanning more than six decades, Eastwood has become a cultural icon, known for his rugged demeanor, strong screen presence, and distinct directorial style. His films often explore themes of morality, redemption, and the human condition. In recent weeks, rumors surrounding Eastwood's health and potential passing circulated on social media causing concern among fans and the entertainment community. However, as of now, these rumors are unsubstantiated and Eastwood remains active, with recent projects highlighting his enduring passion for filmmaking. His work has earned him numerous accolades, including multiple Academy Awards for directing films like Unforgiven and Million Dollar Baby. As he continues to contribute to cinema, Clint Eastwood's legacy as a filmmaker and actor remains firmly established. His ability to resonate with audiences, even at his advanced age, is a testament to his remarkable talent and enduring influence in the film industry.